This is an MD Central Vacuum informative tutorial on updating your inlet valves for durability and looks, the benefits of using a trim plate, and how to swap out your inlets. After years and years of use, inlets look dirty, old, and sometimes break. Updating them with a new inlet valve can brighten up your wall, provide better durability, and without much time or money. This is the full face inlet valve. Take a look at how stylish the outside is as it hides the screws and the door lines. Open it and see the quality of the hinge. Notice it opens all the way. Other inlets it replaces have smaller, weaker hinges and their doors open only halfway, putting pressure on it that can cause it to break. Add a trim plate to really enhance the look. It completely covers over the older inlet's footprint and any paint buildup around the valve. The full face inlet comes in basic or electric and in white, almond, or ivory. The basic version is easy to change out. The electric takes a little more work. All inlets with two screws about four inches apart can be upgraded to the full face inlet. You can change out all your valves at once or one or more at a time, but we recommend changing them all for a consistent look throughout your home. Here is how to replace your inlet valves. First, unplug your main vacuum unit in the garage or basement. Second, if you have electric inlets, turn off the electric housebreaker for those areas. Three, score any perimeter paint buildup with a razor blade. Four, remove the two screws. Five, pull and slightly twist the inlet faceplate off. Insert your fingers for a better grip. Six, remove low voltage wires on the back side, mildly loosening the screws. On electric inlets, disconnect the voltage wires as well. Seven, reconnect wires to the new face plate, being careful not to over tighten. It doesn't matter which wire goes on which screw. Also, on electric valves, reconnect the voltage wires. Eight, apply a tiny bit of cooking oil around the new inlet's neck. Nine, insert the inlet valve back into the wall. Push, tap, and slightly twist as needed. 10. Lightly tighten the screws of the new valve, being careful not to bend the faceplate. Looking from the side, see that the inlet is flush with the wall and straight, not bent. 11. Plug back in the main unit, turn back on the electrical circuits that were off, and you're done. Lastly, just to let you know, Inlets with two contacts inside the suction hole are made to operate a hose with an on and off switch on the hose handle. Having this functionality means you don't have to run back to the wall to turn the suction off. All low voltage hoses and kits and all electric hoses and kits have on and off hoses. Basic and electric inlet valves can receive either. So the question is, what is required for the optimum cleaning of your home? If you'd like a professional to change your inlets for you, please find a nearby MD dealer using the dealer locator online. If you have any questions, please ask online or give us a call.